Shahiru. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Gems, thank you for bearing with me and your patience. Uh, I've been busy with some personal bookings, and also it's March break. <laughs> and I have three children, so yeah, you get kind of hectic a little bit around here. Anyway, uh, thank you for checking out the vid. I appreciate you. This is a general energy check. Not going to resonate with all of you, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want something more tailored to your own unique situation, book me. Okay, all that information and more is located in the description box. Uh, thank you for your personal bookings, your good karma donations, and those of you who have been hitting me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, thank you. I appreciate the love. So, uh, Gems, I'm going to look into your energy and the energy of someone else, and I just asked a question like, Spirit, what's going on with Gemini? What else is going on with Gemini? And I did the same for this energy that is in your energy, okay? So, right off the bat, you have Six of Swords in Reverse. And you have eight of wands in reverse. So you feel like something's being delayed or something's taking too long to happen. Or you could be a feeling like there's a lot of I'm hearing disruptions, disturbances, interruptions. Just like there's always always something, something to delay your progress. Spirit, please clarify six of swords in reverse. Because you feel like something is not moving. Or it's taking the sweetest time ever to move. And you're not listening to your intuition, Gemini. Mm -hmm. About it. This could be a job that you're in that is just not going anywhere for you. Or you feel like you're not going to get anywhere in it. But you're not listening to your intuition about... Um, it's like recognizing if you want to change your money situation, then you got to do that. You know, what first you got to be clear about what you want. This is feeling like you are the source of your abundance. I don't like this job. I'm going to get another one. I need more money. I'm going to find a way to bring in more income, right? It's you recognizing that you have the potential and it's your responsibility to get up and get going. It's like you're making yourself feel stuck. And it's, you're not listening to your intuition. Uh, someone has a scarcity, lack mindset. Like there's never enough for you. You can never make enough. Yes. Wow. Gemini. You just don't feel good in yourself. You could feel like you're not going anywhere. Like you, your life has passed you by. Or you're watching life pass you by. You feel like you're working hard for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like it doesn't matter how hard you work. You're still not making enough money. You feel like no matter what you try, it's just everything takes so long or it's just not happening. Spirit, please clarify eight of wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. There's something that you're looking at the facts of. Are you starting to recognize that why something is not moving forward? Why something's taking so long? Yes. Uh, yes. Look at this. Path. Path. Journey. Major Arcana. You're, you're recognizing why your life hasn't been moving or it's kind of been in a standstill. Yes. I feel like you're recognizing that you haven't been using your intuition. It's like, you know... I was feeling like I should have went for this job or I should have moved to this place and I didn't. I doubted myself, right? I made excuses for why I should stay where I am. You know, I should have listened to my intuition that time. I should have followed my gut that time. Mm -hmm. And why something did not move forward, why you're not moving forward in your life or you're not moving forward in a way that you actually enjoy. Someone is working a job and you just don't like it. It's boring. It's the same shit. It's repetitive. It's tedious. You feel like you're not being stimulated. Mm -hmm. Intellectually, it's just the same shit, different day. Carpal tunnel syndrome for somebody. You could work in a, 
like a kind of warehouse setting. It's the same job over and over again, same task. And you just feel like your whole life is passing you by. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, Gemini, okay. So, the, an energy that is in your energy, this is what's going on with them. They got seven of pentacles. Okay. Ten of swords. Justice. And three of wands. Mm -hmm. So someone is working hard. They're working hard to bring justice to a situation. It's like someone's working hard to balance their life out. Spirit, please clarify seven of pentacles. Recognizing what's important, what's not important. Mm -hmm. Someone is learning how to love themselves. Someone's realizing that they are important. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Perception. Someone's starting to see their self in a new light, have a different mentality, recognizing that maybe I did things because, oh, because I didn't love myself or respect myself or know my worth. Yeah. Someone has a new perspective on what makes them happy. A new perspective on what happiness looks for them, feels for them, is for them. So please clarify, Ten of Wands, sorry, Ten of Swords, Justice, and Three of Wands. Someone's also upset. Gemini, someone's upset. This energy wants justice to be served in some way. Someone could be filing court papers on someone. Uh -huh. um. Ooh, okay. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you are getting your documents together because someone's taking someone's ass to courts. Yes, they are. And you're upset. <laughs> ah, whoever this energy is, Gemini, watch your ass. They're trying, they're gonna take you to court. Yes. Because they feel like justice has been is going to be served one way or another. If they have to work with other people, but one way or another. Justice is going to be served because someone believes, this energy believes that you owe them something, Gemini. Mm -hmm. This is also someone who believes that, um, so their energy says, I'm upset because I appreciated you and you didn't appreciate me. I gave to you and you didn't give to me. It's like, I treated you so good and you fucked me over. Gemini, someone is upset with you, but this is also someone who's learning how to love themselves and maybe seeing things from a different perspective. Yes. Okay, Gemini, what is what is that about? Hmm? What's that about? I feel like I should go into an extended with this and we can dig some more, dive deeper, okay, into what's going on. Hmm. Nah, 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 I want to, I'm just being nosy, but Spirit said no. Okay, Gemini, this is what I have for you. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. You got one more message. One more message. Message. Spirit, any other messages for Gemini in regards to what's on the table? Mm 
Any more messages for Gemini? The Wheel of Fortune. Can I get some more? Can I get some more? This is a cycle is over, Gemini. Okay, I'm also being told put the energy where it goes. This energy that I was talking about could be you. You know your story. You know what's up with you. Or at least you should. But a cycle is over with somebody. Gemini, I feel like it's you. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Ten of Cups. So this is like the ending of something old and the beginning of something new. This Ten of Cups doesn't just have to do with like romantic relationships and family and this is about better relationships, period. You filling your own cups. You recognizing that you are the source of your abundance, Gemini. And if you want something, manifest that bitch. Okay? I'm hearing laws of the universe. Recognizing and utilizing the laws of the universe. Hmm. But this is a new chapter in your life. If you're like, I, I'm hearing that song. I got something for you if you want it. Mm -hmm. Want to get drunk and nasty. So it's like, a, and look at this. Do you see all the cops? Celebrating. You want to celebrate your life? <laughs> okay. Some of you want to get drunk and nasty. We have many sides, Gemini. But this is a spirit saying you can move forward and celebrate your life. Just create a life worth celebrating. Hmm, who was that for? Who was that for? It's like, what are you choosing to do in this chapter of your life? You can do it. You absolutely can. I'm going to pull some clarifying cards on this spirit. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune and Ten of Cups. And look at this shit right here. Oh my gosh, I just realized this. I just realized this to Ross, Gemini. You see this Ten of Ten. Didn't I say this before I dropped the other card, the Ten of Cups? I said this is the ending of something old and the beginning of something new. Some of you, you ready to be in new relationships, better relationships, better relations? Mm -hmm. Ships that are actually getting to the other side. Ships that aren't sinking. Ships coming in. Gemini. Spirit, please clarify the Wheel of Fortune and Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. This is learning from your mistakes. Spirit's like, once you realize that, once you master that, this is that higher perspective. I'm not going to do this anymore because it didn't work. It didn't get me to where I wanted to go. This is exercising wisdom, exercising, using it. Woo, look at this. I'm taking them because they want it to come out. Being loyal to yourself, being aligned with yourself. I just said this. I can't make this up. This is if you want to celebrate life, then create a life worth celebrating. Align yourself with the things you want. If you want to be in a happy relationship, then don't talk to any more fuck boys or fuck girls. Just makes sense. If you want to buy a home, save your money. Get your finances in order. If you want to bring in more income, then create more streams or get a better job. It all starts with you either way. Wow. Spirit is speaking to somebody. Yes. Uh, I can't make this up. Like, legit, I can't. This is made in. Okay? And two. If you see this, it's two. This is a major arcana as well. This is learning how to work, uh, work with others. Work with yourself. Following your dreams. Just acknowledging that you have them, learning how to be um, co what is it um, co creative. I was gonna say codependent, but it's like it's not in reverse. It's co creative with the universe. This is your world that you are creating. You create your reality. So what, what kind of reality do you want? This is that chapter of your life now. This is the beginning of that. Have some fun, Gemini. It's not all work and no play. There's something about being creative and using your imagination too. Somebody, spirits, like your life is boring because you're being boring. <laughs> Spice up your life. Go do something different. 
Join a sport, join a club, go to a meetup, meet different people. Something about someone's wardrobe too. Spirit wants you to change your wardrobe. Maybe wear lighter colors, something uh, more looser. For someone in this collective, it's more feminine. Um, just more flo like, fl like flower child. I'm hearing flower child or bohemian. Someone you either decide to grow your hair out or get it locked. Mm -hmm. Our spirit is advising you to do that. <laughs> it's, it will be more freeing to you. Mm -hmm. But this is aligning yourself and being loyal and dedicated and committed to what you want in this chapter of your life. Because you can have it. It's right here. Right here for the making. Hmm. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave this right here. Thank you so much for checking out the vid. Oh, I'm going to pull one last card, actually. Every time I try to end your reading, Spirit's like, no, not yet. Not yet, Keish. Hold it down. Okay, Spirit, can I get one last, one last card? Because I have other readings to do today, okay? One last card of practical guidance and advice. Look at this. Put it in the rear view mirror. It's time to move on from a problem, issue, or struggle, Gemini. Some of you, it's just in your head that you are stuck and you can't move on from something or you can't move up in something. And if you took that same energy that you use to worry about stuff and brood about stuff and put it into... I'm going to make something happen today. This is what I want for my life. So I'm going to do this, this, this today. It's the same energy. You're just using it differently. Spirit wants you to move on from this now. A problem, an issue, or a struggle. This goes back to that abundance mindset. Move on from thinking that you're struggling or feeling like you're struggling. Let go of regrets by allowing spirit to handle the situation for you. Okay, you got the Wheel of Fortune. No. <laughs> Spirit's got this one in the bag. Go do what you're doing. Go live your best life now, Gemini. Okay? This is not your problem anymore. Move on. Whatever didn't work out, everything happens for a reason. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Everything happens for a reason. Destiny, fate, whatever you want to... Pre predestined contract this is contractual shit right here. This was supposed to happen and it happened. Now move on. Okay, practice daily forgiveness towards yourself and others. Take a break from a person or situation to gain clarity and create more peace in your life today. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups is more peace. This is confirmation. Okay, it's more peace, more happiness. More love, more light, more life, baby. That's what this is. And Spirit said it's yours for the making. Okay, so put all that shit that happened in the past in the past and leave it there. Okay? Mm hmm. Gems, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button or leave an emoji or something, something. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate you. Have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.